About two months before Jerry Hernandez gets behind the wheel of a concrete truck and ends up in a deadly crash with oncoming traffic, Hayes County snaps this mugshot charging him with family violence. It's not his first run in with the law either. According to his case records, Hernandez has about a dozen traffic violations spanning three central Texas counties, some as early as 2000. We're excited to see this particular driver off of the road so as to take away that specific danger from the public immediately. Trey Gober is the attorney for one of the families whose child was injured on the Hay CISD school bus. We're impressed by the speed with which the investigation has proceeded and the attention that this is receiving by law enforcement to hold accountable this very obviously culpable driver. But all of this, he says, never should have happened. DPS says a warrant details Hernandez admitting to an officer on the scene to taking cocaine and marijuana the morning of the crash. This is an entirely avoidable crash. This is a defendant that chose to put themselves behind the wheel of a very heavy vehicle to endanger themselves and the public at large. Gober thinks more charges could follow after a blood test. If charged in relation to drug use, it would be the second time something like this shows up on his records. In 2010, Bastrop County records say he was charged for possession or delivery of drug paraphernalia. But this new charge for criminally negligent homicide, Gober says, is a step in the right direction towards justice. That is a long and slow path, unfortunately, but is a definite path.